is up everybody it is your boy slim aka mr different back with another video once again today i'm gonna show you guys my little trick of how i find melodies and play chords in my productions because a lot of people ask me to show them some music theory tricks um i don't really know music theory 100 i play by ear but i do use a certain technique to kind of give me an edge when I'm making my beats and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do exactly so you guys can kind of mimic and copy and use this to your advantage and you know get the sound that you're looking for. So, um, and, you know, just help you find chords easier, especially people who are beginners and don't really know how to find chords that play by ear or have any musical type of, you know, experience this will definitely help you out this little shortcut these guys right here i'm gonna show you how to use them and it will help you out oh uh, you probably seen it in the older video i did a long time ago kind of how to find the chords how to find any chord or any key or you play any chord any, any melody or any key something like that uh, it's in my old videos um so i'm gonna be reiterating it for all the people who are new to my channel because my channel is growing thank you guys very much and i want to help the guys out there who are new to my channel and you know this probably reach more people hopefully so i got a little piano played up so if you don't know how to play, no. Now I do have a few years of like a few, like a year two, like a little under two years of piano uh, playing experience. Not the best, but you know, I didn't take it seriously when I was young, but I do not play. But say you don't know how to play piano or play keys or play anything and you want to make everything sound and beat. One trick you can use that I always use, like I said, it's going to be a quick tip, so don't, it ain't going to be a long video. Is what the guy, if you notice, <clears throat> I make all my beats in one um, channel. And the reason that, because I use, like, use the ghost notes. Now, if you don't know what ghost notes are, I'll show you what it is. Basically, if you put some notes in here, the notes will translate to the next. So you can actually see what you play in the previous um, pattern. So, how I use that to my advantage is if you go in here, I'll show you how to turn it on first. If you go to your MIDI and you just go right here, bring up the MIDI, um, the piano roll. Bring a little triangle down, you go to helpers, and you can turn on ghost channels. Basically, and that will allow you to see the notes from the previous um, bars. And like I said, there's some other things I've been using here, like um, note grid highlights, so it show the different scales and all that. You can also highlight scales, too. So um, if you want to highlight certain scales, you can go right here and be like, uh, I want to see a harmonic minor, and it'll actually highlight them for you so you can see, you know, what it is. So all the white ones would be the key of that scale, which is pretty cool if you, you know, that's one way to do it, but I don't like that way. That way is very kind of limiting and it's hard to tell. So we're just going to uncheck that real quick. Turn that to black note so we don't see that. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to go to, once I got my ghost notes turned on, I like to go right here to the, um, I guess it's the, the chord thing. I don't know what it's called. It's called the stamp. It's a weird name for it, but I think it's different in uh, older versions of FL Studio from 11 and down, but in FL Studio 12, it's called Stamp. You click that, and you get to select, like, different chords and all that. So you can pick, you, so you want to play some chords. Say you want to play a, uh, for example, a minor chord. You can just click like that, and it puts a minor chord for you automatically. So that's a good way to kind of learn chords and stuff like that. But how do I use it to my advantage? One thing I like to do is first take off of only one, because we, we don't want to do only one. And then I'll go to, like, say... I want to play a harmonic, I go to scale. So I use the scales right here and I go to the harmonic minor scale. Now say I want to do play all my notes in C, um, C uh, sharp harmonic or C, C sharp major minor, my bad. Um, I'll just click right there and it put the whole scale right there. And then what I do is I put another one above that to the next note. I go up, do it again and do it again. Probably all the way up to about eight because I don't play no higher than that. And then I go down here to C sharp, put it in there so it links up. Do it again, and then one more time, and probably that's probably low. I'll use it. Then I do as I highlight it, highlight it all, and I'll drag it all the way across, um, probably to about eight, to about eight bars or whatever. Now I have just a big mess of right there. But the good thing about that, if I go to my next pattern, now I can see exactly what notes are in that scale. So I can, if I go down a little lower. See, I'm playing all <clears throat> every note I'm playing is based off what you see right there, and it's playing them in key. So no matter, so I can see exactly. So if I hit a, a sour note, like, and then I go, see that's, see how that note's not in the white, so it's not in key. So, but if I go, 
and go here. That's not as key. And now you can plug and play different notes and you know <clears throat> do different chords and stuff like that. And let's say just if I record, for example, so just record. Countdown. Now I have all the notes, I quantize them. Quantize, and as you see, all the notes I just played are in the same key or in the same scale. So therefore, they'll they'll play well together. And you can use this with 808s, and like I said, but say you like some people like to go to another pattern, just copy it, go to another pattern, place it in there. That's why I always leave this sample note. You can like even rename it if you want to, so you don't, you know, you know what it is and be like, um, helper. Boom. And now you know that's your helper one, so you don't delete that back then just turn it off a mixer channel because it don't need to be a mixer channel. And it's not playing no sound either, so it's not affecting anything. So now I can go to my next one and be like, okay, I need it for this channel because I'm putting my bass or whatever. I put it in there. Now I can put pick my bass and now, you know, play my bass notes. So um, that's just a quick little trick for all you beginners and all people who don't understand skills or having trouble put, playing their stuff in key because I, I hear a lot of beats, when, especially in my beat reviews, of your 808s and stuff like that out of key and not in the right notes. So hopefully this right here will help you guys um, get the right notes and help you play everything in the key and in the right scale and sound better and, you know, just do a lot more damage when you beat. So hope you guys enjoy like always. You know it is your boy Slim, a.k.a. Miss Different, brought to you with another quick tip. Um, definitely check out my website, me um, me and my partner's website at The Beat Lounge. Um, links in the description below. We got some nice kits out there. We got a new website coming out soon. We're about to launch it really soon, and it's going to have everything. It's going to be dope, free stuff, all that good mess. Um, so, yeah, leave me your comments in the below. If you got any more questions or requests, leave me, let me know. Whatever it is, making the beat, vocal effects, mixing, mastering, uh, whatever. I'm working on a ton of videos right now. I'm trying to get as many as I can, as fast as I can. So just bear with me if I don't get right around the corner with the beat that you, the video you're wanting. So hope you guys help like always. You know what it is, your boy Slim, aka is different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views like always. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.